Hello, dear members, and welcome to another edition of HJ Global News. We are only a few hours away from the Think Tank 2022 Rally of Hope for a Heavily Unified Korea. True Mother initiated the Rallies of Hope last year as the COVID-19 pandemic plunged the world into a devastating situation. Using the PeaceLink online platform, a product of instant communication era, the event brings together millions of people around the world and brings a real glimmer of hope to all of humanity. In this special edition of HJ Global News, we will review the previous six rallies of hope and share some news of activities conducted around the world. True Mother's absolute filial piety to heaven has been the force that has driven her forward constantly. Despite the COVID-19 pandemic that completely paralyzed the world, she broke new grounds with the online rallies of hope. By implementing an online platform combining augmented reality and interactive video communication, the international headquarters has embarked on a new challenge worthy of this era. The Rallies of Hope centered on the International Summit Council for Peace brought together millions of citizens from around the world. The event was broadcast live by national television stations and available for streaming on the internet. At a time when the COVID-19 pandemic is causing isolation and social disconnection, the door to the age of instant communication has opened, bringing millions together. Opportunity is another name for crisis. Righteous people from all over the world are joining the great movement towards world peace through the Rally of Hope series, which has become the driving force of divine providence. At the first rally, former UN Secretary General Pan Ki-moon emphasized UPF's role in this challenging era of international cooperation. If we are to achieve our goals, such as the Sustainable Development Goals, SDGs, there should be a broad set of partnership forged particularly between government and civil society. I believe the Universal Peace Federation will become a cornerstone to build lasting peace around the world and a heavenly unified Korea based on interdependence, mutual prosperity, and universal values. Trumada revealed that the COVID-19 pandemic was a warning that humanity should overcome selfishness and move towards a world of interdependence, mutual prosperity and universal values. She added that the era of God-centered heavenly civilization has now arrived. Pudiohan Iran It was an opportunity to think deeply about the dream of one human family serving the heavenly parent. Through the spiritual offering for peace, religious leaders of various faiths go beyond their differences and express their common desire for peace through prayer. 
at the first rally of hope, Truma spoke of the divine providence that could not be delayed any longer and the need to make a commitment to move towards a heavenly unified career. The sixth rally of hope for a heavily unified Korea was held as part of the official launch of Think Tank 2022. The theme of the conference was peaceful unification of the Korean Peninsula and the realization of a world of sustainable peace. Through the five previous rallies of hope, Trumada has revealed the secrets of heaven that could end humanity's history of unhappiness. In particular, she presented the vision of a heavily unified Korea to world leaders, saying that the prerequisite for a heavily unified world, where all mankind is one great universal family united under God, is a peaceful unification of the Korean Peninsula, one of the only countries still divided in the world. The official launch of Think Tank 2022 is an international think tank made up of 1,011 Koreans and 1,011 other experts from around the world, from political, economic, religious, diplomatic and security sectors. Think Tank 2022 bringing together the wisdom of leaders in government, business, religion, civil society. I believe the dream of a peaceful cooperation and unity in Korea will be closer to reality than ever before. Through Mother Mark, the official launch of Think Tank 22 by striking the peace gong. In 2022, leading experts from various fields around the world will participate in regular webinars to develop concrete policies for the realization of a heavily unified Korea. Their efforts will thus form the cornerstone of an Asia-Pacific civilization, which will mark the beginning of a heavily unified world. True parents reveal that the one and only way to save the world from crisis is to honor God as the heavenly parent of mankind and to realize one human family united under the Creator. In the last line of the Divine Providence, we will follow in the footsteps of true parents and advance relentlessly until we absolutely realize a heavenly unified Korea and world. Yongnam Region UPF held the second Peace Forum for a heavenly unified Korea. Regional Committee Chairman Park Yong-bae gave a progress report on the Korean-Japanese Undersea Tunnel project, reaffirming his commitment to provide the necessary efforts to complete the project. Ambassador Joseph Detrani, former Special Envoy for Six-Party Talks with North Korea, then presented the roadmap for denuclearization and peace on the Korean Peninsula. No, I, I think there was, there was a, a desire to move forward with denuclearization, indeed in return for the lifting of sanctions, security assurances, eventual normalization of relations with the United States and with South Korea, and a path, a roadmap that would lend itself to, to reunification with significant Professor Jin Sombei, on the other hand, emphasized that the vision of a heavily unified Korea can only be realized by putting into practice the thought and ideology that constitutes its essence. The 
기둥이 건재할 때만 통일한국의 비전과 미래를 실현할 수 있다고 보는 겁니다. This forum is becoming a real space for education and discussion in order to make the heavily unified Korea a reality. UPF Korea held the third forum for a heavily unified Korea, which was attended by former MP and President of the Korean Senior Citizens Association, Mr. Kim Ho Il. The theme on the event was a country can only survive if the elderly are happy. In 2001, when he was still a member of the parliament, President Kim Ho Il made a providential connection with true parents by hosting them at the National Assembly for a conference on restoring God's homeland. Prior to the start of the lectures, Chairman Kim extended his greetings to Mrs. Moon Yona and praised UPF's work in Korea and the world, referring in particular to True Parents' work for unification of the Korean Peninsula and world peace. Despite the difficult situation arising from the resurgence of the COVID-19 pandemic, UPF Korea continues its effort to connect Korean opinion leaders with the Think Tank 2022 International Network of Experts. IPD Korea held its 22nd prayer meeting in the city of Danjin on the holy ground of the Catholic Church, marking the 200th anniversary of the birth of Father Kim Dae-gon, the first Korean Catholic priest and martyr. This meeting was an opportunity for participants to go beyond their differences and commit to putting the common values of religion into practice in order to realize a heavily unified Korea. The Korea-Japan Peace Use Forum organized by the Peace Road Executive Committee in Kyushu was held in the Fukuoka City Convention Center. The event was broadcast live on the internet registering the participation of 230 people online and 150 people on site, including cycling representatives. In his message, Executive Committee Chairman Kaji Kuri referred to the words of Reverend Sun Myung Moon, who advocated for the construction of an international highway at the 10th ICOS conference in November 1981. He emphasized that Peace Road has inherited this vision and must now move in the direction of the Korea Japan on the Sea Tunnel project. The young participants were energized by his message and took the opportunity to reiterate their commitment to contribute to the realization of a peaceful world. 14 cyclists took part in the Japan Peace Road 2021 last run event held in Karatsu, Saga Prefecture. It celebrated the 40th anniversary of the proposal of the Korea-Japan International Highway and on the Sea Tunnel project. The cyclists set out in Katashima City to the final destination of Karatsu, all with fervent spirit of peace. In Bolivia in South America Subregion 3, UPF Bolivia organized an interface forum in La Paz to mark the anniversary of True Father's Ascension. The theme of the forum was challenges of the current context. It was attended by 43 people including religious leaders from the Methodist, Catholic and Muslim communities as well as ambassadors of peace. It was an opportunity for the participants to take ownership of the vision that true parents advocate in their autobiography and to share those of UPF and IAPD. Through various messages, the religious leaders present expressed their intention to hold such meetings on a regular basis and to create one family centered on God. UPF Asia Pacific successfully held its third International Leadership Conference, ILC. The first conference focused on peace and security, the second on parallel diplomacy, and the third on worldview and economic development issues. The goal of the last conference was to make a contribution to the peaceful reunification of the peninsula and world peace. Translated into eight languages, the event was held online and included eight sessions. It registered the virtual participation of over 2,500 people from 39 countries and reached over 310,000 views. 38 speakers from around the world also shared their expertise through various presentations. IOSP organized several activities around the world to mark the International Youth Day. 
IOSP Brazil and IOSP Peru held Youth Ambassadors for Peace award ceremonies, among others, while IOSP Samoa held a Moringa Tree Planting Day to help in the efforts to preserve the planet. In Cote d'Ivoire, the Tongil Modo discipline participated in the first national martial arts demonstration competition. It was an opportunity to convey to the participants the mission and value of Tongil Modo. The Women's Federation International Headquarters announced the winners of its second annual children's art contest, Color My Heart with Peace. The theme of the contest was reunification of the Korean Peninsula. 146 children from 31 countries participated and 82 of them were awarded, including two with gold medals. The winning works are on display on the contest website until September 24. Through this art project, the International Headquarters of Women's Federation intends to take a small step towards achieving peace for future generations. The Songhua ceremony of President Yi Jae-sok, a model of loyalty and filial piety of 36 couple, was held under the blessing of God and true parents. Reverend Yi Jae-sok passed away on September 5 at the age of 89. After hearing the news of his death, true mother dedicated calligraphy to him with the inscription, Son of Loyalty and Filial Piety, who contributed to ushering in the era of a heavily unified Korea. She also prayed for his peaceful ascension into the Kingdom of Heaven. At the ceremony, Dr. Yoon Yong-ho gave an in-depth testimony about the life of President Lee Jae-sok, whose family was registered in the Chanpa One. Born in May 1933 in Chongyang, South Chungcheon, President Lee tied his destiny to the will of God by listening to the teachings of the Divine Principle while he was a law student at Jungang University. After serving as a local church leader and teacher of Divine Principle, he became one of the pioneers of the movement for unity of religions. He was the fifth president of the Korean Family Federation and National Messiah of Taiwan. Think Tank 2022's Rally of Hope for a Heavily Unified Korea will be held this Sunday, September 12. It will be broadcast live via Chonicle's online PeaceLink platform. We call on all members around the world to participate massively in order to witness this historic event firsthand. With this appeal, we close the edition of Asia Global News. Thank you for joining us and may God bless you.